Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Hello, this tutorial is a continuation to the peplum top that we caught in one of the prior videos. If you have not seen that yet, please click um, on in the link below to view that video and I'll also leave a link on this video for you to click to see that first part of this video. Now in that video I didn't show you how to sew the pieces together but in this particular video I'm going to be showing you how to do the lined lace top. So I'm going to show you how to uh, place your lining and how to sew it together and then later how you join it to the other part of the peplum top. Now I'm going to be using a different fabric in this um, particular video but it's still the same exact um, style so you're going to just see how to put together that style so now what I'm doing here is I'm taking the lining that I caught and I'm taking the lace fabric this is the right side so I'm doing what I, I'll call right side to right side and then I'm gonna just pin it all across you know you don't have to if you're okay not pinning but for beginners, I'll advise you pin it. So you just pin it all across and then you're going to sew this all across. This is because we're going to flip this over. So I'm going to show you what the result is once I sew this all the way around. And then we're going to do the same thing with the two sides. Remember we have um, these two sides because we are going to have a zipper at the back. So we have this in two different um we have this two different um, sides so that we can easily sew a zipper at the back and we have a zip allowance here too. So what we're going to do is exactly the same as the other part. So we're going to do this the right side. I'm going to put my lining and we're going to just sew the neckline across just like that. So that's what we're going to do in both sides. You can pin it again or if you like, you don't, I mean, if you're a beginner, I'll advise to pin it, especially if you're using the fabric like a lace that's bound to shift. So you, you may want to pin it. But if you're, if you're um, comfortable not pinning, that's okay too. But what we just want to do is we want to sew this all across. I'll show you the next step once I have this all sewn. These are all joined now, the front and the sides are joined. The, la uh, the next thing to do is to join the shoulder area. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread it out. We're going to be ironing this later to uh, make it more smooth and neat and neat, you know, make it look neater. But right now we're just going to join the shoulder. So what you want to do is you want to spread out your joint fabric like this. Then you want to take this middle point and match it with the middle point. You're taking one side of the back, one side of the back, and then you take in the front. This is what the front is. There's a piece for the front. So you take the shoulder of that front, the shoulder area, you open it up and you want to find the middle part too. There's a middle part over there. You can also decide to first open this up and iron it flat. Okay, but with the lace fabric you'll want to be more careful. You can put an ironing cloth over it to iron. You match those two middle parts together. As you can see, the lace is facing the lace. The lining is matched, matched with the lining. So what we want to do now, again, we're doing right side to right side because we're going to be sewing on the wrong side. So you may want to just um, use a needle to hold the middle area and then you go to your sewing machine and you sew this all the way across you can also decide to sew it from the middle this way 
and then come back again to the middle this way that may help you to ensure that you don't shift the middle so that by the time you turn it over by the time you're done with your sewing you don't want this middle part to shift you want the middle to match the middle you um for the lace and you want the lining to all be tucked in that's what we're trying to achieve with this so you're gonna do this on both sides this is the one side you can pin it down again and then you go to the other side of the front piece and you take the second back piece you do exactly the same thing again you open it up you match the center open the center of the seams open them up right there match the center to the center lace to lace lining to lining and you sew it across that will make your shoulder joint together and then i'll show you the next step once i'm done sewing this so the shoulder has been joined now as you can see so i've turned everything in and um this is what we have that's the front and this is the back so what we're gonna be doing now is to have a that now with everything else and sewing um different people will have different methods you know and um even an individual can do the same styles in different ways but what i'm attempting to do here is to make it as simple as possible for you to do if you've never done this before so i'm gonna make it at some um, simple as i can so you can you know grab your own fabric and repeat what i'm showing you so i hope this is really helpful um let me know in the comment if this is helping you and please if you've not subscribed remember to do that so what i'm going to be doing next now is i'm going to be adding that okay so from the cotton video you remember that we put some um put some notch for the that so that's what i'm going to be doing now so what to do that you just have to fold um into two you have to find the uh place where you had your knot when you did um the cotton so that's what you're going to do you look for that point on your fabric and then we're going to to do your that actually you're going to just slant it in from that point where you you had the little cut we just had a tiny cut um on the lace when we did the um when we cut this style so what you want to do now is you just want to fold this in a little again there are different ways to do this but i'm going to be doing it together with the lining i'm not going to do the lining separate and the lace separate i'm going to do both together just to simplify the uh, method for you so when you fold you must always fold this in in a way that where you have your side and you know your side by looking at where you have your armhole area where you're going to be joining your sleeve this is your side right here so when you fold it first you want to make sure you align your um lace properly if you're using a lace too and then when you fold you fold in such a way that the side area slants in a little okay not slanting out it slants in a little okay and then you measure like half an inch if you left one inch for your that then when you fold it in you need to measure half an inch over here then when you measure your half an inch then you come down this length and you measure um four inches now when you do four inches you may want to grab a, a shock if that's gonna help you and just do like a triangle if this is your four inches here and this is your half an inch you just want to do like a triangle like that then you may want to use your pin to hold this in and then you just go onto your machine and you just do your dad to sew it all the way across like that so that by the time you open it in you're gonna have your dad now always remember to lock your stitches when you start and when you end i want to do the same thing on the other side of um the front part of the uh, blouse again you want to slant the side in a little you give it a little down slide not all the way just a little 
then the center to the back too you want to identify where is your side you find the side you find where you put your little cut for your um that and um on the wrong side again remember it must be on the wrong side so you want to slant it in a little and you want to do your triangular um dot you just sew it like a triangle like that you measure your five inches your four inches from the bottom and you sew it in and you do that on the other side too so you're going to have four dots in all and after that we're going to do the sleeves and the sides I've joined one part of the sleeve so I'll demonstrate with this other part that I'm yet to join. So if you want to join the sleeve you just do right side to right side when you're sewing. You align your fabric and you start from we had a notch here. I did a little cut right here. So you align it to the center of your shoulder where you joined it and that's what you're just going to sew all the way down here on the first side you come again and you sew the other side always remember that when you sew you want to lock your stitch by doing a reverse um stitch so you sew it all the way to the other end this is one method of joining sleeves. There's a different method, but this is the method I'm using today. And then after you've joined it, like I joined this already, you will now close up the sleeve and measure what you have for your sleeve round. And then you sew it all the way down the armpit and to the sides. So that is what we have done right here. Now the next thing I will be doing is joining the lower part. Remember this is a eye low skirt. So I'm going to join the lower part of this to the, once I finish joining this other sleeve of course. And I'm, I join the side, then I'm going to join this low part to the bottom of my um, top, leaving my sewing, my zipper allowance, leaving that side open, of course, so that I can put my zipper when I get a zipper in. So that's what I'm going to be doing now, and I will try and show you as much as This is the lower part of my, of the top that I'm making. So the first thing I'm doing here is joining a little bit of this and then I leave this open for the end of my zip when I eventually put one in. The next thing now is to run gathered stitches all across here, all around the edge, the top of the lower part of the uh, blouse that I'm making so I'm running um gather stitch all around it and then I'm gonna pull the stitches and form gathers because the top is gonna have little gathers I'm beginning to draw the gathers I'm starting at one hand and then I'm gonna start at the other end too and just spread them all across Now when you draw your um, gathers, you want to make sure at the end of it all that it all, it all um, measures to the measurement of your waist, what your waist was supposed to be on your blouse. That's what you want to make sure you, you want to make sure it's up to what your waist is on the blouse because um, at the Point where you're joining it to the blouse it has to you know it has to be exact same thing with all the waist of the blouses 
now that I'm done with the sides of the top and with my um, garter stitch so the next thing will be for me to join this all the way across from the back all the way to the front so we just look at the back all I'll just be doing is I'll take the hedge when I started my line on uh, my garter I left this part ungathered that's because when I do my when I start to do my zipper I'm gonna be folding this part in so to sew it across I'm going to do right side to right side again and I'm just gonna put this and then I'll sew it across I've measured the gathers to make sure it's the same as my waist so I just have to sew it just put my stitch all across all the way to the other end of the top so that will form the lower part of my um, blouse and then I'm, I'll come to the bottom of the blouse and I'll just fold this in two times and I'll sew this all the way across to complete that part of the blouse and then the last thing I'll need to do is to add my zip at the back okay the blouse is done now the zip is in place at the back like I said all the way down here I use a size 20 zip so this is the back and this is the front so I'll show you pictures to see the final product like I said is um, a high low uh, top the front is a little lower than the back so that's it thank you I hope this has been helpful please if you like what you've seen uh, please give this channel a thumbs up share it and subscribe thank you see you next video bye i hope this video has been helpful please like share and subscribe leave me comments below